today we are going to discuss about uh, QA. So as you all uh, know about QA is all about quality analysis because any product it could be software or it could be anything assessing the quality of the product so that improving the value of the particular product is essentially important in any sector. So whatever I am going to teach you this is something relating to quality analysis especially targeted towards IT related stuff, IT quality analysis in simple. At the same time, this is for the beginner levels, whatever the I'm going to show you and all everything, this is for the beginner level I'm explaining to you. So this is a beginner level uh, introduction video, which will be helpful uh, for the people who are new to this QA related uh, profiles and whoever wants to acquire knowledge in reference to the QA and all everything. Uh, I hope uh, this video will be useful to them. So letting let us getting into the introduction part of QA. So first of all, I am going to teach you few different things. One is what QA is all about. Second, what a quality analyst do. Followed by this, we will be discussing about how a software testing life cycle looks like. Followed by this, what is the content I am going to cover in reference to QA. So all these things we are discussing in this video. So if you see quality analysis is all about understanding and as well as providing the responsibility in reference to the testing of the particular functionality for any of the product. So it could be any product either we are belongs to project development or we belongs to product development whatever the technical team has developed the functionalities quality analyst team should ensure that whatever the product was developed by the team is having a quality one. At the same time, meet all the needs of the customer that is essentially important. So a person who is working under quality analysis should have an exposure and as well as experience at the same time they have to make sure whether whatever the product we have developed must ensure the customer satisfaction. So when customer will be satisfied whatever customer is expecting end of the day. So if you are providing then customer will be happy. So quality analysis as a whole if you see in reference to the application development of IT is all about. Now if you if you see about the role of a quality analyst for example if you are the one who wants to work for a quality analyst what generally a quality analyst do is what we need to know. So the very first thing being a quality analyst what is that we have to do is that the first point is that we have to be attentive to the project development and that is the first responsibility being a QA you have to do. So when you talk about attentiveness in reference to the application development whatever whether it is a product or a project development and all quality analyst must remain focused on the development of the project at the same time whatever the department team are working and all so quality analyst should ensure to interact with all these people well in advance. At the same time they must understand the decisions whichever is taken if there is any kind of decision has taken in terms of the quality decisions and all everything. So that has to be identified and possible ratifications and all everything based upon the standards and as well as policies and practices of the company has to be ensured. This is the first responsibility being a BA being a quality analyst one should be doing it. one should be good with next followed by this the second one is that reviewing the adherence to the product demands where in terms of the product demands itself we need to stay in responsible for implementation of the project at the same time whatever the errors and all everything we have received and all that has to be resolved in regular intervals for that accounting relating to the products demands as well as the kind of decision which company is taking which we want to address the needs at the same time you have to make it ensure in reference to the demand of the audience what is that finally they are expecting for. The third point we need to satisfy the quality requirements whatever the quality standards assurances practices an organization is expecting because for example when we are working for some project development customer may be uh, having a CMM level or Six Sigma level organization. So when you are developing the requirements or when you are developing a solution you have to meet those standards as well because it's not only the standards what we are 
developing in our application development at the same time we have to ensure satisfying the quality needs and as well as requirements of others as well even customer level also should be focused more on next fourth we need to analyze and report test results whatever the test results we have and all everything that has to be analyzed here so these test results may be of different right so it can because test results may be sometimes it may be accepted or it may be rejected irrespective of it analyzing and as well as reporting test results by preparing different different testing part because usually there will be two different testings usually one is manual and second is automation in this manual we prepare different different test cases test plans test scripts all that whereas in terms of automation testing and all it's all using different different tools like selenium silk wind runner load runner different tools will be used wherein we are doing it so that's how generally this analyzing and reporting of results has to be done by the quality and listing at the same time last but not least we need to gather variety of satisfaction where we need to understand the large amount of data what is that collected by the companies and all when we have to enable them to take decision according to the abilities as well as the kind of structure what is that we are following so that we must have some knowledge over the statistics this is not something uh, relating for every profile because i i mean to say because some sort of statistical knowledge is also required but the point to be noted for all the customer quality analyst profiles it is not may not be required it depends on the kind of profile what we have received the kind of the kind of company the amount of services what they are dealing with the kind of uh, services which they belongs to so all these will be varied right so because knowing about the basics of stats is not something wrong in it but to be honest with you to be clear with you in reference to the role of a quality analyst 100% knowledge about statistics and all everything may not be required so subject to terms and conditions based upon the profile what we have for example we were in the uh, profile where uh, the works and all everything is more towards data related stuff. when we are working on the data related things all that stuff then these kind of statistics and all everything is essentially required and so that people will understand this much better so these are the activities which being a quality analyst you have to do you may have to be stay attentive towards project development next you need to review and adhere the product demands what customer is expecting at the same time you need to satisfy the quality requirements from our side as well as from the end user perspective at the same time we may we need to analyze and report the test results followed by this you need to gather variety of statistics so that in a broader perspective one should understand so these are the things which being a quality analyst in reference to the application development of it either it is a product or a project one must be good with but now apart from this one must be knowing about the process of software testing life cycle this is what generally stlc in short in short so this is what generally software testing life cycle where these are the stages which being a quality analyst one must be good with so it is something like stlc because sdlc is nothing but software development life cycle so where you have analysis planning design implementation testing deployment delivery all that in the same manner when we are working on software testing life cycle this is how it looks like software testing life cycle called stlc in this stlc the first thing is that we need to do requirement analysis this is the first stage under stlc where testing team the qa team followed by the testing team will gather all the requirements from the business analyst followed by the client at the same time they have to define the test focus followed by the test priorities what is that they are conducting followed by this they have to list out all the testable requirements which are essentially possible for us to test because whatever is not possible for us to test the requirements that doesn't have any value hence we have to identify testable requirements which are essentially important followed by this what kind of automation tools because sometime back i have told you the same uh, because different different uh, testing automation tools will be used like selenium etc so all these things comes under the stage of requirement analysis because most of the people have some perception over requirement analysis that business analyst team and other people will be involved to an extent possible it is right but not to the full extent along with business analyst team even testing followed by the quality team will also be uh, involving in this but in the context of testable related stuff right not in reference to the application development or solution related stuff 
The second stage we talk about test planning. Here, normally this is where most of this manual part going on, right? So where we have to prepare the test plans, test strategies for various types of testings we have. Because there are a lot of testings like regression testing, module testing, integration testing, right? Unit testing. At the same time, last but not least, user accept test testing will be there. Of course, that's a different structure altogether. Right. So all these things, various types of testing, you know, wherein for that we have to prepare some test plans and as well as test strategy documents. Apart from all that, one must be knowing about and as well as to define the objectives and scope of the product. Because if you are not meeting the right objectives and scope of the project, that doesn't have any value at all. So defining the objective and scope of the product as well as the project is essentially required in the stage of test planning. Followed by this, we have to list out what are the different different testing types which are involved in STLC. Followed by this, what kind of testing tool is rightly used and what kind of testing tool is essentially required for us to use that has to be identified. So based on that, we will be knowing about how much resource do we need. This is where generally resource planning comes into account. Means how much resource do you require? It depends on the size of the project, depends on the complexity of the project, depends on the involvement of the testing team, how many we require. Whatever the resources do we require and all everything has to be planned. So this task planning resources followed by this we need to understand and we need to determine the roles and responsibilities as well. At the same time we have to prepare the test schedules all this stuff. This is all comes under test plan. So once the test planning is done the next is test case development where we have to prepare different different test cases. Like using manual testing and all uh, these test cases and all everything will be prepared. So using test case, uh, using manual testing and all, all these test case developments and all everything will be taken place. So once the test case is development done, we must be knowing about the test environment. What kind of environment is essentially required for us to do the testing, like possible hardware and software configurations, all that will become under test environment setup. So once test environment setup is done, then next we go for test execution. We are using multiple tools. Uh, uh, in, in reference to the automation tools, what I've mentioned so far, testing people will test the functionalities. So these test functionalities might be positive or negative. Sometimes some conditions will be considered as passed and some conditions may be failed. Right. So it's completely depends on two different things. One is expected versus actual result. Expected result is what customer is expecting. Actual result is what technical team has developed. If both are same, Test condition is considered as pass. Otherwise, usually this is considered as failed. So all these things comes under test execution stage. Here, this uh, tracking the defects of the testing, whatever we have done so far will be done here in the test execution. Last but not least, test cycle closure, where we have to cycle, we have to evaluate the cycle uh, completion criteria based on the coverage of the testing, what we have done. At the same time, the quality of work, what we have done, this is where generally being a quality analyst, you, your role is so important, right? So we must be knowing about the quality of standards we have used so far. At the same time, we must be knowing about the cost, how much was incurred to uh, perform all these activities. At the same time, how much amount of time we have spent so far. Based on that, test cycle closure report will be prepared accordingly. So if you are a QA, if you are into quality analysis or a quality of one must be knowing about the process of software development lifecycle well in advance. So apart from the responsibilities, what I was mentioned you some time back, knowing about software testing lifecycle and as well as the stages of software testing lifecycle is also equally important for any quality analyst to perform it. Now I'm going to explain you what is that we are going to cover under QA part, right? So this is what generally the content which I'm covering you where it starts with software testing followed by the career related stuff right so difference between project and product and how difference how it is different from QA to QC and how the, the selection of criteria and reference to the tools we need to select right so this is all introduction part what I am showing you now this is all an introduction part of it followed by the responsibilities and roles of the other team other people roles and responsibilities of BA developer testing team architect all these will be mentioned because this is especially useful to the people who are new to IT field because this may not be required for the people who are from uh, who are from IT because IT will have some knowledge IT people will have but most of the non IT people may not have a complete understanding about quality analysis followed by application development of IT 
IT application development. Hence, this introduction about software testing followed by the roles and responsibilities will give an additional advantage for them to understand more better. At the same time, as I stated some time back when I have discussed about STLC, STLC software testing lifecycle, equally software development lifecycle should also be known because when there is a development, then only testing will happen. If there is no development, there is no testing, right? So development lifecycle stages should also be known to us well in advance. So this is what we are going to cover in the second one. Whereas in the third one, we need to understand the documentation part, requirements documentation part. This is where I said, because normally business enlisting will prepare different, different documents, something like business requirements, software requirements, specification, functional requirements, document, all that. So that requirements document you should understand because that requirements will be developed by the development team that will be tested by the testing team. So understanding about requirement document is essentially important to understand it. At the same time, the next is that we are going to discuss about the types of testing. What are the different different types of testing we have? Something like black box testing, white box testing, all that. Followed by this, what are the different different functional testing like GUIs? All that will be discussed here. At the same time, application performance is also required because if there is no performance of the application, that application doesn't have any value. So performance application, performance testing is also required. At the same time, system testing, acceptance testing, non-functional, non-functional, something connecting with performance, scalability, load balancing, all that. So this is all comes under, uh, this is all comes under the types of testing, all that. At the same time, we will be discussing about the test cases, whatever the different, different test cases we are preparing using manual testing, right? So this is all happens through manual testing, followed by this, there is a matrix called RTM, which we talk about requirements traceability matrix. Using this requirement traceability matrix, we trace the requirements between two different things. One is from use case to test case and test case to use case. This is what we call it as requirement traceability matrix. That has two different things. One is forward traceability, where from use case to test case, it will be connected with backward traceability, where we are connecting from test case to use case. This is all comes under requirement traceability matrix, all that. So that we have to know at the same time, whatever the test cases and all everything comes from the testing document point of view, because test cases, everything will be confirmed here. Next bugs, identification of the bugs followed by the defects and all everything. But nowadays in reference to the big uh, bug reporting tools and all that. So normally Jira is the one which we are using here because most of the projects nowadays are working on agile environment. So that my focus is more on Jira. So that in Jira, how to identify the bugs, how to report those uh, bugs and all everything on Jira is one thing which I'll be focusing more on. Of course, QC, QC quality center is also um, using in uh, regular intervals and all. But major focus is on Jira and second preference I'm giving you for the quality center. Because Jira is more, uh, um, because if the projects are working on agile, then Jira is required. So that's the reason why that is what I'm covering here. Followed by this, we will be knowing about the test strategies and executions. What are the test execution lifecycle process do we require to follow? At the same time, we need to know about the different levels of test execution, what we have. Followed by the smoke testing, everything has to be done. At the same time, we have to perform this regression testing, followed by the kind of test designs, what we have. Everything comes under test strategy execution, all that. Next, we go for test planning, whatever the test planning we do and all everything. So this test planning, test cases, everything comes under that part. Next, we go for automation testing where different, different uh, tools and all everything will be used to use this automation testing. In this, normally I'm going to cover uh, Selenium and as well as Loadrunner. These are the two different uh, uh, automation testing tools which we are taking uh, as a part of the course. So this is what I'm going to cover so that manual testing will be understood by you followed by this. Even um, uh, automation testing will also be known to you very networks. So this is all about quality analyst. So whatever I was discussed you so far, this is all about quality analyst, especially for the people who are new to the environment of this. And this is majorly targeted for the beginner level so that uh, there are more opportunities nowadays you can see. So this is all focused towards the beginner level. Uh, this course is all about. For further details regarding this, if anybody wants to have any more information regarding this, please reach out to our contact details which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.